hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel um over here on build my budget we are all about budgeting um debt free becoming debt free and also just basically everything budgeting um if you are new to my channel hi if you are a returning subscriber thank you guys so much for coming back i know i've been out but that's okay you girl back in commission we back at this so, however, even though I have not been recording, um, I have still been um, implementing um, this wonderful budgeting system that we call cash stuffing. Um, so today, I'm not going to ramble on too much. Um, I don't really have too many updates. I've been trying to get this video done all day, y'all. So we're just going to basically go ahead and get into it. Um, I'm going to be stuffing my tax return. It's not my full tax return. I withdrew, um, where is my, my card? Sorry. I withdrew $2,825. Um, half of that I put aside for other things um, that I had planned. What we're stuffing today is going to be $2,300. So let's go ahead and get our money out we're gonna go ahead and get all this stuff out the way and y'all please don't mind my setup i'm just doing what i can today because honey hot mess can you say it three times um we're in the midst of um moving into another unit so it's just a lot going on right now this is most definitely not going to be my setup but it has to do for now so i'm gonna go ahead and move my book out the way a little cheat sheet and we're gonna go ahead and count this money okay y'all so keep in mind i'm doing this on the earning board so i hope y'all can see i really 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 do so let's go ahead and count this money so i'll start with the hundreds we have one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so that's one thousand oh no one thousand plus this money is all wrong y'all one two three four five six seven so plus seven plus two three four that's 200 i never like count money it just makes the video so much more longer but i just decided for my sake as well to go ahead and count it so i won't have any mishaps during this video okay and besides i have to get this money together because it's ugly okay so that's 1900 and then we have 20 40 60 81 that's plus 100, that's 2,000, 20, 40, 60. So that's 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So that's plus 100 equals 2,100. Then we have 10, 10, 20, 30, 40. 55, 65, 75, 85, 90, 5, 200. So it was not 2300, it's 2200 is what we're going to be stuffing today, y'all. So plus 100, 2200. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this cash stuffing, y'all. Like I said, I've been out all day. I'm tired, been up since four o'clock this morning. Um, let's go ahead and get this money stuffed. So I hope y'all can see this money. Y'all, let me fix this. I'm sorry. Okay. That's, I ain't gonna say it's much better, but it's better than what it was at first. Okay, so we're gonna start off with my cash um, envelopes. And yes, y'all, we have been shopping. We have been shopping. You guys don't already know what Fetch is. Fetch is a receipt app where you can scan your um, receipts in for points and those points then turn into gift cards so i will i guess go ahead and put my fetch code somewhere on the screen so 
so you guys can use that referral code. If you use my code to sign up for Fetch, you will receive 2,000 points as well as I will. So yeah, y'all, it's a cool little thing. Um, I got probably about $50 worth of money in gift cards, but I'm trying to save it up um, just so I could save a little more. So um, we're gonna go ahead and start with my kids' spending envelopes. Um, Zane is going to receive a total of 400 but he's going to get 300 in his spending and 100 in his savings. Y'all, keep in mind, if y'all hear any noise in the background, I have kids. Also, as well, I'm trying to talk as fast as possible but not talk too much because my storage is, like, bad on my phone. I need to buy some more because it sucks. So, Zane is going to get 300 in his envelope. And I need to move this. This is just doing way too much. I'm just gonna get 300 and I'm just gonna do that in $300 bills. So, one, two, three. And no, this money will not stay in here, y'all. I won't be walking around with this kind of cash in here. Zaino has one, two, three, oh, five. 305 in his spending. Okay. So cute. Marcus is going to get $200, but he owes his daddy $20. So he'll have $180. I'm going to go ahead and put $200 in here for now because I only took out the correct denomination. So he'll have to break $100 and give that $20 back because he wanted a game off Nintendo. So his dad just bought it since I already took the money off his card. Um, Hazel will be getting the same. So that's $200. So she now has $200 in spending. Okay. Um, Starbucks was getting $20. And this also goes, all of these back envelopes goes in the, our sinking envelope. And mommy spending was getting $300. Cause I need to get some stuff for the hospital as well. Um, so I just want to make sure I have the funds to do that. So one, two, and three. Hope y'all can see well. I really, really, really do. Okay. So this is all funded. Yeah, we got everything stuffed in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to my kids sinking envelope, well, sinking folder. Um... This is the folder that I'm gonna put their envelopes back in. So baby is um, Zane and he's gonna be getting, um, this is his savings envelope. He's gonna be getting $100. So it has nothing in here and it's gonna get 100. Okay. The Marcus has nothing in his envelope and he's gonna be getting 100 as well. Carol has nothing in her envelope and she's going to be getting 100 as well. Okay. Family is getting $25. It's going to be a 20 and a 5. I really hope you guys can see. Okay. Treats is going to get a $5 bill. And this is just when I want to get the kids something, but I don't want to take from their envelopes because I wanted to buy it for them. Or if they just want a little snack or something, we have our treats envelope for that. Zoe is going to get $10 and that's going to be in a $10 bill. And she had a five in here and now Zoe has um, $15. I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. And she needs some food, but I'm not going to take it out of her envelope because I want to kind of build this a little bit. So I'll be paying for her food. Pets will be getting a hundred dollars and this is for us to save up for us um to um adopt a dog i'll be taking from this envelope for zoe as well but it just says pets plural for when we get other pets so one two three four one of four in pets all right and then close oh I lied. Clothes is, I mean, pets is getting another $10. So I allocated 100 
And then when I did my sinking funds, split up for breakdown for, you know, with the tax money, I put an additional 10. So now it has 1, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 113. My bad, y'all. See, I'm trying to catch it now so I won't have to come back. Okay. Clothes was getting $15. It's going to be a 10 and a 5. Oh, clothes had a little money in here. All right. And then clothes, we now have 10, 15, 21, 2. 22 Zoilas. Not that any of us need anything anytime soon, but I want to get this um, stuff pretty nice for the kids for summer. Um, school. Was not getting anything. Louis was not getting anything. My savings was getting a hundred dollars. Okay. Travel was not getting anything. And this savings envelope is going to get a hundred dollars. Okay. So it now has 105. So this is just a general savings. This is not particular for anyone. Um, just a savings I want to have. I do want to get this one at least to 500. Then once I get it to 500, we'll see from there. So that is it for me and my kids sinking funds, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and move on. So Big Baby is our truck and she's going to be getting $20. She is empty. I've been trying to save for this truck, y'all. We really need to. I need to I'm going to start taking this envelope a lot more serious because we need the oil change and all that good stuff. So, she's being good to us, so we're going to be good to her. Rainy Day is getting $10 and it is empty. Next is House, y'all, and House is going to get $10 as well. I tell y'all, these kids be so loud, boy. Okay, how does Skill Beauty? Okay. Um, so cake day isn't getting stuffed. Beauty is getting 25 and it's empty. It's going to be a 20 and a 5. So the fourth is going to get $40. So it's going to be two 20s. Which I'm really excited about putting this in here because I've been wanting to try to get a little bit more in here. Um, just so I can know. It makes you feel easy about certain things. And I actually want to move this debt envelope envelope <laughs> to my third binder. So that is going to be it for this cash stuff in y'all. And I actually forgot that Hazel spent money in Best Buy and her dad had already allocated the money. So she does not get $200. She gets $165. So... How did he give that to me? So I'm gonna do a 50. Yeah, that's right, because I had 550. So 50, 565. Okay. So the mama should have 165. Let's see. 150, 565. Okay. She got this Barbie tour from Best Buy. And this is what the money is for y'all for them to spend. So I am mad at it. Okay, so that's that. <clears throat> okay. Last binder, y'all. I'm going to put debt back here. Just because this is where my other zipper envelopes are in here. Okay. So student loans is getting $5. Okay, and student loans now has six dollars not in a rush for this this is not due for a payment until next year so i just want to make sure i am stuffing it i have the rest of the year to do so medical is going to get 15 this is going to be a 10 and a 5 and medical now has 10 15 16 17 and this envelope is just for anything medical related bill medicine prescription um one method head is going to get ten dollars 
No, it's not a lot, but it's something. And the reason I'm not allocating a lot of money towards this envelope, um, or a decent amount at least, is because I want to fund one month ahead with my rollover bill money, uh, which I've set up my bills for me to have rollover. I just feel like it's easier for people with low income to learn how to recycle their money. Um, and when I say recycle, not necessarily meaning just keeping the same money in the loop, but repurposing it for different reasons. Some people use their rollover bill money to put towards sinking funds or debt or whatever the case may be. I want to put it towards my one month ahead. So with that being said, my one month ahead now has $12. And this is also a new envelope. A lot of these envelopes are brand new. Um, gift cards are is getting $50 and that's just going to be a 50 I feel like I still have too much money left over, but we're going to see y'all. So gift cards. Gift cards now has 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. $58, which is a good start. Okay, so this is my savings challenge. Um, I owed this savings challenge $20, and I am supposed to be allocating, let's see. I don't know what just happened, y'all, but hopefully it doesn't do it again. Otherwise, I'm just going to assume that I have no storage. But long story short, I owe it $20, make it $40. And I'm going to put $50 in here, which is going to make it. That's not adding up. Hold on, y'all. So it's supposed to get 70 and all. So I know I'm replacing 20 but... Look, y'all, I'm just going to put the money in here and we'll figure the rest out later because I promise you we'll be stuck. So $70 is what it's getting. That's two 20s and no, that's not two 20s. It's one 20 and a 50. So it now has $90, which is where it should be. Okay. Um... Let's see, subscriptions is supposed to get $40. See, I messed up somewhere already. Supposed to get $40, but I only have 120 left. And I have too many hundreds left, which means breaks change right somewhere. We'll come back to subscriptions because some of those are actually due. Navy Federal is getting 110, so it's going to be one. I'm gonna do two of these fives because I don't know why I have so many fives left. So 110 for Navy Federal. I told y'all I was gonna mess up somewhere. Debt is supposed to get five dollars. I moved this envelope. Last five. And debt now has five, ten, eleven, twelve. This is just a general debt um envelope. Um I wanna get this um to a decent amount, probably to $200, and then I'll take it and make my first debt payment. And we'll talk about that when we get there. My $500 challenge, I owed $84 to. So we're gonna go ahead and add that. Uh, we're supposed to be putting in 105, and I don't have $5. Why do I have so much money left over? I have no clue. <laughs> Give me one second, you guys. Okay, y'all. So, I just had to get the five from somewhere. I just, I told you, I'm just trying to get this video done. So, $500 savings challenge now has 105. We're back up to current. Um, and like I said, I'll just tally up what I already colored in to minus what is missing. And I'll just fill those in by my next sinking funds video. But we ain't gonna worry about it. We're not doing that challenge yet. And I think that is it, y'all. I was supposed to put $40 in my... <laughs> I was supposed to put $40 in my freaking subscription envelope. But you know what? Like I said, they are due anyway. So what I'm going to do, instead of trying to stress about the 
the 40. I'll just take this 50 and I will put that in the bank and then I will pay the subscription that way. Other than that, everything got what it needed. I'm not sure where this extra uh, $80 came from, but no, we're not gonna worry about it. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that back in the bank and we'll just go from there. If you made it this far, thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. I do appreciate you guys so much and I hope to see you in my next one. So until then, peace.